grieve you, Saint Anna. We grieve you, dear Father. We faith and trust we come to you to make a prayer to you. Oh, pray for us. Oh, pray for us. Saint Arnold Jansen, a person with strong convictions amidst uncertainties. On the second day of the Tridum, in honor of Saint Arnold Jansen, let us draw inspirations from his reflections and homilies and pray through his powerful intercession to grow in faith and convictions in our lives as we live amidst uncertainties of life. In his sermon, during the inaugural liturgy of the Mission House on September 8, 1875, Father Arnold Jansen declared, whether anything will come of it is known only to God, but we express our thanks to the giver of all good things for having helped us with the beginning. We hope that this house will attain its purpose. The simplicity of this beginning should not discourage us. The mightiest tree starts as a single seed and the strongest of all giants was once a weak, whimpering baby. We know that with our present resources, we cannot accomplish our task. But we hope the good God will provide everything we need. And He may do with us what He wills. If the seminary succeeds, we will thank the grace of God. If nothing comes of it, we will humbly strike our breast and confess that we were not worthy of the grace. Once uncertainties are in motion, turning it into an opportunity often requires new ways of seeing, thinking and responding. We believe that no matter how dark the night may get, there is hope of the dawn to come. Now let's pray for the entire world through the powerful intercession of Saint Arnold Jansen. Intercessions For all who have lost their lives, your response, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For all those who are lonely, Lord have mercy. For all families that are separated, Lord have mercy. For all those who have survived, Lord have mercy. For all those who have lost their spouses, Lord have mercy. For all children who have been orphaned, Lord have mercy. For all those who are unemployed, Lord have mercy. For all those suffering financial hardships, Lord have mercy. For all those who face an uncertain future, Lord have mercy. For all the doctors, nurses, and all the healthcare professionals, Lord have mercy. For all public officials, Lord have mercy. For all business leaders, Lord have mercy. For all educators, Lord have mercy. For all innovators and inventors who provide new solutions, Lord have mercy. For peace in our city and in our country, your response, bless us, O Lord. Bless us, O Lord. For renewed friendships among neighbors, bless, bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For solidarity and unity among all peoples, bless, bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For a greater appreciation and love for all humanity, bless, bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For patience and perseverance, bless, bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. For calm in the midst of fear, 
Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord, for the grace to overcome adversity. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord, for generosity of spirit. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord, for the hope in times of despair. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord, for light in the darkness. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you went about healing all and bringing comfort to those in pain and need. We pray through the powerful intercession of Saint Arnold Jansen to grant us strength in body, courage in spirit, and patience in pain, especially during this time of the pandemic. May we join ourselves more closely to you on the cross and in your suffering, that through them we may draw our patience and hope. Bless us and restore us to health, so that united more closely to your family, the Church, we may give praise and honor to your name. Amen. Hear us, O Father, we pray, who strive and fall each day. The life and love we give the dead may be in our live and share. O pray for us, O pray for us. Fill us all with your sin. Spread the word all over the world. Oh, pray for us. Oh, pray for us. Fill us all with your sin to spread the word.